What's up everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today is January 4th, 2016. It's a whole new year. And we're screwed on PlayStation. And I'm not surprised by this. Uh, part of me wants to really just go off and, and get real pissed off uh, at the Phantom Squad or whoever this group of nobodies is that takes great joy in screwing other people over. Uh, another part of me is really frustrated that Sony has no way to deter this or to prevent it. At the moment, Sony PlayStation 3 is down, PlayStation 4 is down, and PlayStation Vita is down. The network does not work. And as you can see on PlayStation 4, you can't even play any of your games that are digital only. Even single player games, you can't even get into the system, which is extremely frustrating. It really makes me, it takes me back to 2011 where PlayStation had the big network outage for two and a half months. And you couldn't play any of your games. And that's the thing that really, really scares me about digital-only content. As a gamer who likes to collect physical copies of games, having a digital copy of a game really impedes your, your ability to play a game anytime you want. Because as we see, these situations occur. And it might be a situation where you have a limited amount of time. You might be getting ready to go out of, out of state or overseas or go to war. And you might be wanting to play your game one last time before you go in a situation like this happens. I'm telling you right now, it's happening to somebody right now. And they can't play the game because it's a digital only version of a game. And it's on a network that has been compromised. It's really frustrating. So, unfortunately for a lot of people, you might just have PlayStation consoles. I don't just have PlayStation, so what do I do? I turn on my Xbox One to see if the Xbox One is running fine. As soon as I turn it on, bam, logs right in. No issue. Xbox Live is solid as a rock. Now, I'm not going to say that they're always solid because Xbox Live gets hit too by these dickhead hack boys who really aren't hackers. The only hack they can do is do DDoS attacks, and that's just garbage. Um, my thing is, I want Sony, I want Microsoft to find a way to detect if these DDoS attacks are coming sooner. Because if they can find out if it's fake traffic and some... I don't know what type of means they need to implement, but they need to implement something that starts to detect whether or not all the traffic is coming from one place. And in that way, they can kind of plan against these kind of attacks. It's really frustrating. It's really unfortunate, especially for people who have games on their PlayStation 4 that maybe they don't even play online. You just want to play one of your games right now. You can't even play it. PlayStation Network is down. DDoS attacks are for lames, man. If that's all you can do as a hacker, that's like saying you're a magician and all you can do is pull off your thumb. It sucks. It's not a real hack. That's like saying that you're a doctor and all you got is the uh, surgery game or some shit. It's not real. You're not really hacking anything. You're just doing a DDoS. And we all know Lizard Squad is Phantom Squad. Same lame ass people doing the exact same thing. They're pathetic, pathetic people. You guys let me know if you're on PlayStation and if you're able to get in, get into the network in some places. If you're on Xbox Live, I'm sure you're having a fun time right now. It's just not about fanboyism. Uh, unfortunately, PlayStation Network is just usually a more vulnerable service. And now that everybody's paying for PlayStation Network, I would expect Sony to really, really pick up and try to get their security up to par because we can't have this go on and continually persist where this group of dickheads decides, okay, I want to take off, take PlayStation Network now. And they just do it that easy. If that's the case, the world that we're headed to is a really, really screwed up place. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys get to enjoy your games soon. If you did like the video, give a thumbs up and be sure to definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.